More new car keys mean more new cars. So let's see what's on the key ring this week. The badge says it all. The 2004 Dodge Ram SRT 10 pickup is one hellacious hauler. This is the super hot rod version of the full-size Dodge Ram that comes by way of Chrysler Group's in-house tuner, performance vehicle operations, with a main mission of upsetting Ford's F-150 SVT Lightning. The SRT10 expects to do just that with power direct from the Dodge Viper. That means 500 horsepower and 525 pound-feet of torque boiling out of an 8.3-liter pushrod V10 Hemi. And to control it, if you can, a modified Viper six-speed Tremec gearbox with a purpose-built purse shifter, which pushes the power down an aluminum drive shaft to a Dana 6411 rear axle and into the tarmac by way of huge 22-inch Viper-style Speedline alloy wheels, the biggest wheels on any production truck. And that's just the tip of the SRT10 iceberg. There's also a suspension designed for real handling ability. Slick NASCAR style bodywork that makes those big Ram lines even tougher and a flashy race inspired leather interior. Take a big pickup truck, drop in the Viper's engine and transmission, tweak the suspension and the brakes and the styling. What do you get? Ram SRT10 mega truck. Oversteer and huge burnouts? Yes. Fuel economy? Uh, no but you'll get looks and be giggling the whole time you're behind the wheel. So if you're a pickup fan with a need for speed and 45 grand burning a hole in your pocket, the Dodge Ram SRT10 is the rocket sled for you. Now, if your needs aren't quite so over the top, but you still want a truck that won't wilt when the going gets tough, check out the 2004 Land Rover Freelander. This year, Land Rover's kicking little compact gets more of the look of a much larger SUV, namely the Range Rover. The restyled nose is the most obvious link to the brand's flagship, but the Freelander also gets a host of upgrades aimed at improving comfort and ease of use. These include a redesigned soft top on three-door models, an available park distance control system, and optional 18-inch wheels. Inside, the Freelander boasts a redesigned interior with an upgraded dash, improved heat and ventilation controls, and more supportive seats with premium upholstery. But the stout little 174 horsepower V6, full-time all-wheel drive, hill descent control, and 7.6 inches of ground clearance are unchanged. Price has changed for the better, however. The S trim grade has been eliminated with both the $26,000 SE and $29,000 HSE offering higher content for less money. That alone should put a lot more drivers behind the wheel of a Land Rover Freelander in 2004. More in the mood for a high-end car but don't have a high-end budget? Then please welcome the 2004 Kia Amante. It's Kia's first full-size luxury car and the biggest Korean brand sedan ever sold in the U.S. The Amante platform is borrowed from corporate partner Hyundai's XG350, but with about two inches added to the wheelbase. And while the car is new, the look is retro, with the front end wearing a big 40-style grille and headlight blisters inspired by vintage Jaguars. The roof line and rear, however, are a bit more contemporary, reminding us of domestic luxury cars from Lincoln and Chrysler. The Amante's drivetrain is straight Hyundai, however. The XG350's 3.5-liter twin-cam V6 has been slightly uprated to 200 horsepower, controlled by a new 5-speed automatic transmission. The generous Amante interior is the most upscale that we've ever seen in a Korean import, with a wide Euro-style dash, lots of leather, and some genuinely rich-looking imitation wood trim. It also comes packed with luxury car features from power seats to high-end audio and side curtain airbags. The Amante is a great deal for the money. I mean, it's got features I would never would expect to have seen. If you're shopping full size, Kia is worth a closer look. Add in a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty, and it's a lot of car for under $26,000 and a notable competitor for the Toyota Avalon. We'll see how the Kia Amante measures up to its main competitors in a full test soon. And we'll try out the keys to a few more new models in just a few more weeks.